Hey everyone, Ali here. So I hope you're having a crafty day uh, wherever you are in the world. Today I'm going to make a masculine card for my brother-in-law. So I have purchased this uh, metal plate embossing folder from Kayser Craft and that came in this week so I'm going to use that. I've got a steampunk embossing folder as well uh, and I think I got that from AliExpress. I'm not 100% sure. I've got some cardstock here so this is going to be my backing card and then I've got like a bronzy colour and a silvery champagne -y colour that I'm going to use to emboss with. I've also got this happy birthday uh, die and I received it from AliExpress as well. And also I've got my Inca Gold and a Nuvo embellishment mousse and this one here is in black ash. This one is old silver. Then I've got brown gold and copper so I'm going to use these uh, to uh, rub on to my embossed area so I'm just going to use my Sizzix die cutting machine and I'm just going to emboss these folders through my machine my Nuvo embellishment mousse and my ink of golds and I'm going to layer the colours on both of these cardstocks here. So just going to start off with the uh, metal plate here and I'm just going to add the black mousse to it. I don't think it needs any other colour to it so because it's going to be one of my background uh, cards on this card. Before I go on to further, I'm just going to cut down my cardstocks and the embossed folders here to the desired uh, size that I'm after. That way I'm not wasting any of the waxes and I can see what I'm working with. With this piece of cog steampunk cardstock here, I'm just going to layer the Inca gold waxes onto this card just using my fingers until I get the desired effect that I'm after. birthday die that I've cut out of black cardstock I really want it to pop on the front of this card so I've got my American Crafts Zing embossing powder in opaque finish in black and I'm going to finish it off with this uh, I think it'll be a really nice popping of the front of the card
So I've got my foam box here and I'm just looking for a piece of black foam and I'm going to cut out the happy birthday in the foam just so it gives it some dimension on the front of this card. Now I've got this acrylic soft gel in matte medium by Little Birdie that I found in a cheap shop uh, the other day and I'm just going to paint this on to the top of the foam and then I can glue on my embossed happy birthday to the foam bit so that'll pop onto the card. I was really impressed with this acrylic soft gel medium that I actually just popped it into one of these bottles and I'm just going to glue it on the back of the foam and then pop it onto my card putting a bit of weight on just with a stamping block just to make sure that is glued properly into place. So all I've got to do now is to glue this uh, onto the front of a uh, card. So that's my process video finished. I hope this is giving you some inspiration. And if it has, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, happy crafting. See ya.